Welcome back to Marketplace Middle East this week from Turkey. We're in the sprawling city of Istanbul where we found a vibrant trade in textile manufacturing. This industry really took off in the 1980s. Today, you'll find the Turkish makers supplying some of the leading global brands around the world, while others have decided to go out on their own with a Made in Turkey label right behind them. Here's our special report. The Remax brand is not a household name, but it's been around for four decades, about the same time Turkey emerged as a player in textiles. The family-run group is a wholesale denim manufacturer, making jeans like these for Jack and Jones in Denmark. In that time frame, the Turkish textile industry has expanded into a $17 billion business, representing 10% of the country's GDP and 20% of overall employment. That's according to the Turkish Clothing Manufacturers Association. The business has evolved rapidly since the 1980s and now covers a full range of activities. It's an often overlooked fact, but Turkey is one of the largest cotton producers in the world, and it's now making the machinery used in textile manufacturing. That has a value of nearly $10 billion a year. With that expansion, Turkey has lost its low-cost advantage. The average textile worker in Turkey makes $5.5 an hour, double that of EU member Bulgaria, and nine times the rate for workers in South Asia. So the Made in Turkey label, 40 years into the business, means offering reliability, design, and speed, according to the Industries Trade Association. They don't have uh, mills. We have huge mills in Turkey. Uh, so I don't think there will be a big problem in the next 10 years. So I think our production will continue to increase. It will never decrease for sure. Today, Turkish companies make jeans and cotton apparel from A to Z, meaning from Armani to Zenya, and many big-name luxury brands in between. Then there is another approach. After producing jeans for others, Mavi Jeans decided to build its own brand. So we had a great factory, we had all the innovation coming from the fabric, and we said we'll go for it. CEO Junaid Yavuz decided to tap Turkey's shopping mall boom and its growth to a near trillion dollar economy. Today, Mavi has 300 stores in Turkey alone, targeting the mid-premium market with jeans priced at around $100 a pair. We were uh, this great brand producing uh, great jeans and, and selling abroad in great department stores. But then Turkey, you know, the whole infrastructure, the whole landscape started to change. And uh, we could no longer be a wholesaler selling only blue jeans. Whether it's retail or wholesale, the Made in Turkey players realize, with all the global competition, they by no means have this market <laughs> sewn up. Our special look at the denim manufacturers here in Istanbul. And that's all for this special edition of CNN Marketplace Middle East this week from Turkey. I'm John Defterius. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next weekend.